This is a tutorial to show how to use Ken Smith software at this address to view electrical diagrams. Currently it does not support uh, secure HTTPS, um, but it's still a safe website and the secure HTTPS will be coming soon. We'll click on the electrical diagrams and we can see the list of everything we can see. So there's an introduction here it might not be possible to read this because it's a little bit small so we can view it on full size and we can see here that the National Electric Code is one of the things we mentioned in this introduction talking about strict diagrams and associated diagrams for not strict the National Electric Code requires neutral wires in all switch boxes but some inspectors um, may require neutral wires in all switch boxes without any exceptions but some will allow it if you have uh, multiple three-way four-way switches some inspectors will only require neutrals in one of those electrical boxes let's close this and be back at our list here let's pick something interesting a light controlled by one switch so here is how we would wire it over in this area and we'll make this full size in a minute and show you how you can use these check boxes and down here you see kind of a picture of how it would be in a house you just have one switch and you control the light um, in this case the power is coming in from some other source uh, going directly to the switch in this picture the power is coming directly into the light fixture and so there's going to be two diagrams here. Let's make this full size right now. And you can see one option for wiring where the power comes into the light fixture and another one where the power comes into the switch. If this looks a little bit too cluttered or whatever, one thing you might want to do is not show all the ground wires since you know you need them, they're crucial, but you, you may not want to see them in this diagram so we can hide all those ground wires. Another thing you might want to do is just hide the electrical boxes. There's a little bug right now where this box should also be hidden, but we have removed a bunch of the clutter. The final option you might want to do is just this checkbox all by itself, and it would show how you might want to run the cable um, for these scenarios. So it shows what you have to run. We'll look at a couple other diagrams and see why that might be important. Let's uh, close this window and um, we can just pick something here. Let's, let's pick one that's interesting. Um, okay, so this one's interesting. Let's view it full size. And you can see here, especially if we click this checkbox, if you're going to run the cable, you can see that you need to run 14.4 with ground on this leg of it and over here 14.3 and your power is coming in here um, you could use a pair of 14.2 over here so this is just a way to hide everything and just show you what cable needs to be run if we don't hide everything it shows you all the connections and everything that needs to be done let's close this window and um, there's several other wiring scenarios I mentioned earlier that there's strict options when the inspectors want to see a neutral in every box and for every one of those there's an associated one where it's not going to be a strict requirement I have a tool that actually creates these diagrams any kind of diagram that we want I will try to get a video created for that tool as well. So that ends this tutorial. Thank you. Have a good day.